Hey, it's Jeremy here with Red Hawk Coaching, and today is day eight of the 31-day video challenge uh, put on by Tony Watley over at 365 Driven, and uh, the topic today is going to be retirement, and so I'm going to do my best at uh, being Vanna White today in my whiteboard uh, to walk you through this this process, and this is this is also overly, overly simplified, but it'll give you a great idea of what to expect and how to start planning for retirement. The best thing to do, though, is go talk to a financial advisor that can walk, walk through your personal plan and set you up so they can retire in grace. And so the average length of um, a retiree is about 25 years. And so we're gonna work off that number there. And so here's, how, here's the formula, here's how you calculate it. Is that you need to have at a minimum $900,000 after tax money. Uh, the financial advisor is gonna tell you that in, in order for that money to last 25 years, that there's gonna be a draw of, um, just to simplify, it's usually a little bit under 4%. In this case, we're gonna use 4% for the math. Uh, make it simple. Uh, so a 4% draw, which will give you $36,000 a year, which will give you 12, or I'm sorry, $3,000 a month in income. So that's not a whole lot of income, yet we have to have $900,000 after tax money put back in order to have that $3,000 a month. Now, if you want $5,000 a month, it would take you approximately 1.5 put it back in after tax money uh, to accomplish that, that goal. So everything's a factor of that 4%. So let's say you wanted to do 10,000 a month, that'd be $120,000 annual income. You divide that number by 4% and that's gonna give you whatever number you need in after tax money to make that, that happen. So hopefully this doesn't scare you today. Hopefully this gets you thinking on how do I influence this number over here? You know, is it, I have you know, other business income, other streams of income, do I have um, opportunities to go out and invest in properties? Um, am I investing in city bonds? Am I investing in stock? Uh, do I start a side business and have income flowing through that? Uh, whatever that case is, you need to start thinking about what, what can I do here to influence this number so that when you get to the age of retirement, you begin to take that draw that you have enough money in place to live out your life gracefully. So talk to a financial advisor. I highly encourage that. Find somebody that's local to you that you can sit down and work through a plan so that when you get there, you can, you can live out in grace. Have a great and a blessed day. If you find this information valuable and you'd like to share with somebody, please do share. Have a great day.